Hey everybody, I'm John Ramdean. Welcome to the Fight Network Studios. I'm happy to be joined by Rick Smickles, the head of honcho of the Wild Wing franchise. And Rick, we got to talk about uh, your affiliation to combat sports. We see your brand all over the UFC and a ton of mixed martial arts fighters. Uh, now in the grassroots promotion, you're aligning yourself with su Substance Cage Combat, which goes down on June 29th. Uh, why did you decide combat sports is the place for you and your brand? Um, basically, how it started was um, I have a, a background in uh, promoting uh, boxing and uh, I sponsored a, a, a bunch of fights and a bunch of fighters and I just seen that the uh, UFC was just uh, on its way up and boxing was on its way down and it was uh, just a natural evolution and um, I remember when uh, I met uh, uh, Neil, he brought Sean into my office, I remember it like it was yesterday and Sean was fighting in uh, Montreal and it's, it's the first guy I sponsor, and it was the best fight to this day that I ever seen, and everybody in the crowd's yelling, let's go Wild Wing. I'm like, holy smoke, like, uh, th this is, uh, it's good, and sends, uh, you know, goosebumps through you, so it was amazing uh, uh, branding for us. And then um, the irony is, nobody's ever done that again. <laughs> now you see our logo everywhere, but, uh, so, you know, you, ju you just get into it and uh, it gives you uh, amazing uh, brand equity. It builds your brand and, you know, it's shown at 100 million uh, uh, homes usually, some of these uh, big fights. So it just uh, just keeps building our brand. And, um, you know, as far as return on investment on it, it really doesn't happen. I'm, I'm not going to sell that many chicken wings to get the money back, but it's just constantly pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. And it's great. What are some of the challenges you've faced so far? I mean, you do get your brand out there. People are seeing your brand, uh, but is it expanding the way you anticipated? Um, well, it's it's like uh, just before I came in here, one guy said, uh, "Are you you know you're, you're doing the gorilla stuff?" And I said, "I said it's it's I'm in a unique position because we we do have over 100 restaurants, and some of them just uh, pick and choose the fights." So now we're gonna be force feeding the fights into all our locations and we'll be showing it at every location regardless. So uh, I will be uh, dealing with UFC on a one-on-one -on -one, uh, basis. And uh, this way, if people know Wild Wing, they associate it, they'll be able to see the, the, the fight. So that was a challenge because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a customer of the UFCs and I was uh, promoting the actual fighters who are managed uh, uh, separately and uh, so I was on both sides of the fence, so now I'm just gonna split it down the middle and uh, you know, work with both sides, so it's good. So now uh, Substance Cage Combat happening on June 29th. Uh, use the word grass, uh, grassroots movement, because you know, we're seeing these guys you know, using the, these type of promotions as springboards into the UFC, into the yeah. big show. Uh, why do you feel that uh, you know, getting into this movement is important for your brand? First of all, um, for me, it was a, never a monetary issue. It was always about supporting guys, make sure they live their dream, make sure they're healthy, and it's just my way of giving back. Other people give back in other ways, and to me, I want to give back to the sport because, uh, you know, it, it, it's a perfect demographic for our uh, clientele, and uh, a lot of the guys you get to know, they're just simple, humble guys, and if you contribute to, to help uh, live their dream, there's nothing better. And you can see that Wild Wing brand on June 29th at the George Bell Arena for Substance Cage Combat.